Hi everybody, my name is Max Denton and I'm a senior product manager here at AWS Elemental. I work on the Media Convert transcoding platform and today I'd like to tell you a little bit about what Elemental Media Convert is, how it can be used in your workflow, and we'll even take a quick look at how you can configure a transcoding job inside of it. AWS Elemental Media Convert is a file-based video processing service that anyone with any scale of content processing needs can use to transcode video for a variety of use cases. Now, those use cases are really based around the consumers of video transcoding. We see three main needs in the cloud environment for the creation of video assets. One of those is the transcoding of user-generated content that is uploaded by your end users and posted on a platform. Another is the transition of traditional broadcast playout and VOD workflows into the cloud to leverage the scalability and reliability of cloud infrastructure. And finally, OTT delivery of multi-screen content from premium content suppliers onto OTT content delivery platforms. We want to be able to support best-in-class workflows on all of these use cases. And to do that, we've built a robust feature set targeted for all of these inside of Media Convert. For user-generated content, when we built the service, we focused on keeping our job times low, our scalability high, and making sure there was no additional overhead, particularly for the very short video clips that are often transcoded in user-generated content workflows. We also have robust input support to deal with the variety of formats that video will be coming in from your user, and of course a streamlined API to integrate it into your service. For our playout and VOD customers, we have advanced standards compliant transport stream muxing to create the uh, tightly constrained transport streams that are needed for VOD applications. We have audio normalization so that you can meet audio loudness compliance regulations. And we have motion graphics overlays for the rebranding and repurposing of content for online platforms. And for OTT deliverables, we have robust multi-provider DRM support. We have ad signaling and content conditioning for both server-side and client-side ad insertion workflows. And we have timed metadata to push time-based metadata events all the way out to the end user. Now, all of these use cases are built on top of our best-in-class video performance, things like high video quality per bit. Today, bits equal money, and it's very important that you get the highest video quality you can for the lowest amount of bits. Now, technologies like variable bit rate encoding have been around for a long time to help increase this efficiency, but often involve lots of tweaking on a content-by-content, title-by-title basis, or have overshoots and undershoots in the bit rate that tend to waste a lot of the bit savings that could be achieved based on the simpler parts of the content in your workflow. QVBR, or quality-based variable bit rate encoding, is AWS Elemental's exclusive technology for creating a very simple configuration using only two parameters, the maximum bit rate and the desired quality, that creates 20 to 50% bit reduction when compared to standard variable bit rate workflows. Another benefit of using AWS Elemental for your media transcoding is going to be the fast turnaround of your content. Not only do you have the scalability and the parallel processing of AWS data centers at your hands, you also have our new accelerated transcoding feature, which allows Media Convert to split your incoming files into small segments and distribute them across even more computing instances inside of the data center. This means that you can create content sometimes 25% faster than you would with a traditional workflow at zero additional cost and with a one-click configuration. You, of course, have the reliability and simple management of any AWS service inside of Media Convert, built right into the AWS console and integrated with all of the AWS SDKs for submitting job submissions into Media Convert. And finally, we have cost efficiency uh, through flexible pricing models. We offer both on-demand pricing models with zero upfront commitment, paying per second of video that you transcode, or we offer reserved pricing models when you have a high volume of content that needs to be transcoded, which can offer deep discounting based on committing to large volumes of content going through. All of this can be accessed very easily inside of the Media Convert console. Now, we believe that Media Convert should be a powerful building block at the center of your workflow, as opposed to defining that workflow. And so we've made Media Convert very easy to integrate via our APIs and with harvesting and egressing files to Amazon S3 buckets. 
Now, that workflow may be as simple as the one we see on the screen, where files are uploaded into an S3 bucket, processed at scale by Media Convert, and pushed back out to an S3 bucket for download or distribution. But where things get really powerful is when you integrate the other components of AWS platform into your workflows. Things like Glacier deep archiving retrieval or Amazon CloudFront for cost-effective CDN distribution, and things like Lambda and step functions in the middle for creating automated workflows triggered by the processing of your media. These configurations are very easy to build with CloudWatch events triggered off of AWS Media Convert uh, transcoding and can create very powerful automated workflows, including the use of AI and ML to do automatic recognition of your video content. Now, I'd like to jump in and show you how easy it is to get started encoding a job in Media Convert. So here I am on the AWS Services page, and I'm going to launch Media Convert. Inside of Media Convert, in addition to creating jobs from scratch, I can also create jobs based on templates. These templates can either be created by your team in advance, or we can use system templates that have been created by the AWS Elemental Video Engineering team to give you great looking outputs right off the bat to get started. So I'm going to select this CMAF-based OTT profile, which uses the QVBR technology we talked about earlier. Once I select the template, I can create a job off that template. And it already has all of our output groups defined, including the advanced encoding settings and the use of QBVR technology. But I still need to specify an input based on the particular job I'd like to encode. So I'm going to select an input and browse to select a file. Now, in this case, I'm going to pick a file that's already located in my demo input bucket inside of my AWS account. But I could also paste in or submit via the API a path to a file located in anyone else's S3 bucket that's given permission to this account to access. Or I could even paste in an HTTP pre-signed URL and harvest the file from any external location. Inside of my input controls, we have advanced selectors for audio and video selection, including things like external audio files, which can be used for more advanced workflows. And we also have the ability to select captions. These captions can be embedded in the video or from any of the industry standard sidecar formats. The clipping controls allow us to select a subsection of the video that we would like to transcode. And the clipping controls, when used in combination with the ability to add additional inputs to your job, mean that you can programmatically perform assembly or editing of your content via very simple API calls into Media Convert, which will perform that assembly and editing on a frame accurate basis right inside of the Media Convert job. Now, I will remove these additional inputs, and we'll take a look at some of the global settings inside of our job. Here in the global settings, the first thing we always need to select is an IAM role. The IAM role is what gives Media Convert permission to operate on the S3 buckets and other resources that exist inside of your AWS account. I have one called MC already created, but if you don't, you may need to create one. You can find more information about this or really anything inside of the Media Convert UI by clicking on the Info button and you'll find a description of each and every control, including links to external articles for things that may require additional steps. Now, here you'll also see our acceleration option that's available in the pro tier. If I select this to enabled, the workflow we talked about earlier, where Media Convert splits up the files and utilizes a large fleet of computing resources, happens automatically without any additional configuration. Now that I've configured these settings, I click Create, and my job begins processing and can be monitored or called over the API. Now, everything that I showed you today and everything that you see available inside of the console interface is really creating a job JSON configuration under the hood. This is very powerful because it means you can use the user-friendly interface to create a template for your job and then programmatically submit JSON jobs from your orchestration or automation system based on those templates. The JSON is very simple and friendly and allows you access to every single setting available inside of Media Convert and can be submitted over the Amazon CLI or any of the SDKs that are available to interact with AWS. Now let's take a minute and talk about the pricing of Media Convert. Media Convert has two simple pricing models. The first and the default is on-demand pricing where you pay only for what you use. 
The pricing is based on the length of the content that's created by MediaConvert. These tiers are based on the codec, the resolution, and the frame rate that are in use and can be found in a very simple table on the MediaConvert pricing page. You'll also notice that we have two tiers of features. The first being the basic tier, which includes everything needed to create content for user-generated workflows or for simple online delivery. And the second being the pro tier, which includes all of the special features we talked about earlier for VOD and online OTT premium distribution workflows. With on-demand pricing, you can run up to 40 jobs in parallel with the ability to burst above that simply by provisioning your account through an AWS support ticket for higher limits. There are no charges for that increased parallel effort. And when running in the pro tier, the accelerated transcoding feature that we talked about earlier does not increase the cost of your jobs. It simply increases the throughput and decreases the time required to transcode each job. On-demand pricing makes a lot of sense for anybody who has bursty, unpredictable workflows or simply needs to process a whole lot of content in a short period of time. And on-demand pricing starts at less than one cent per minute. Our reserved pricing is meant for customers who have large, steady volumes of transcoding needs and would like to capitalize on that consistency in order to get deeper discounts on their pricing. A reserved transcoding slot gives you the ability to process one job at a time, 24-7, 365. You can purchase multiple reserved transcoding slots to scale up your capacity, and you can mix and match between reserved transcoding and on-demand to get the best of both worlds with the cost effectiveness of reserved transcoding for your steady state needs, but still the agility of our on-demand pricing model for the bursts in your workflows. Reserve pricing starts at $400 a month for single slots. Thank you very much for taking the time to join me. I hope that you will go into the AWS console and create a media convert job for yourself and certainly reach out to our support team with any questions. Thank you very much.